Good evening, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So for tonight's dining review, I'm gonna be meeting up with my cousin Sonny and his girlfriend Amanda, and we're gonna have dinner here at Four Flamingos. This restaurant is located in the Grand Cypress Hotel, the Hyatt Grand Cypress. Um, it was kind of like confusing how to get here at first, but I figured it out. <laughs> Finally here. I've heard so many good things about it. I've seen a lot of food pictures and videos, and I wanted to experience it for myself. So I'm super excited. I hope I get to reach meet um the chef richard bias i think that's how you say his last name but um come along with me as we have dinner here at four flamingos so this is the look at their menu the top part is their appetizers and then these are their main entrees they have a lot of seafood dishes like lobster and you know, shrimp and steak they also have other items like i said like this different types of steak store fish prime rib um bacon wrap filet and then these are their sides um, this is the dessert section right here and then on the back is all the different types of cocktails So the top is all the cedar drinks which I prefer But they also have beer and wine also if you guys drink that So well, first is the bread service and I really like the way they brought the butter out It's all, it looks like a little design on it And this, this bread that they gave us is pretty hot And then I think on the top it's, I'm not sure it's honey or something But it looks pretty shiny so let's see how it tastes so this bread, it kind of reminds me of a, like a wine roll a little bit. It's, it's a little sweet, but it's really good. It's nice and warm and fluffy. I'm still laughing how, how my cousin eats his bread. He literally has it with a fork and a knife. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> has arrived and Sonny had got the... Mango Del Fuego. The Mango Del Fuego that comes with jalapeno and beans, mastro, dobel, tequila, coin, I don't know how to say these things. Mango, hibiscus syrup, salt for $16. And then Amanda got the... Which was your the key lime and the coconut. Oh yeah, key lime and the coconut, it comes with stoli, vanilla, vodka, midori, key lime shrub, pineapple, and coconut foam for 16 And then I had caught the filth, the filth, fifth, filthy flamingo. So this one um, is a siesta key rum, tempest fruit creme de, these names are so hard to say, guava, pineapple, raspberry, and orange syrup for 16 bucks. So all these dr drinks we got looks really fruity and Amanda was telling me that her drink actually tastes like key lime pie. <laughs> <Good. laughs> so for the starter or appetizer, Sonny had got this, what is it called? I don't even know the name of it. It's basically steak, but I don't know what's steak on top of it. Steak pinchos. Oh, steak pinchos. And then what's the, what's this on top? What's this stuff? Like chimichurri sauce or something? Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna take the first bite and let me know how it is. It's on a stick. <laughs> it's on a stick, kind of like a combo. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's <been> more delicious. <laughs> I all that on camera. <laughs> so for my main entree, I had got the um, whole lobster grilled. And look how huge this is. It looks really, really delicious though. And then Amanda, she got the... what was it in? The Aoi tuna. Aoi tuna. And then for my side, I had got the yuca fries. And now we're just waiting for Sonny's uh, steak to get here. And there is Sonny's steak. He got the swordfish prime rib. And that looks pretty, pretty delicious. So this is pretty nice. The server genie brought out some lemon, lemon essential oil hand towels. Cause you know after the meal your hands are pretty sticky. So that was nice of her. So the hand towels she gave us literally does have that lemon smell. It smells fresh and it's like pretty fancy. I've never been to a restaurant. They, at the end of the meal they hand you these towels to wipe your hands. That's pretty cool. This is a look at their dessert menu. They got a coconut rum truffle, a chocolate banana marquis, key lamb pie, Cuban espresso panna cotta. And these are the after dinner cocktails and these are the dessert ones. Jeannie, my server, she brought out two desserts because I wasn't able to meet Richard Bias, the uh, chef tonight. So that was super nice of her. So which dessert is this one? I get the coconut rum trifle. And then, then we have the chocolate marquee, which is this chocolate bowl that has a vanilla and banana uh, mousse in it. 
and then it has a raspberry sauce and chocolate. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So for this dessert on the end, Jeannie was saying that we have to like break open it. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I think chocolate is gonna ooze out, but we'll see. We're gonna do it right soon. Ready, Sunny? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, it's hard. <laughs> it doesn't break. Oh, oh, let me turn it on so you guys can see what's in it. Oops, sorry. Look, that's what's inside the chocolate ball. I thought it was gonna be like chocolate syrup or something digging out of it, but I have no idea. Is that ice cream? <laughs> I don't know, but let's go try this dessert first. So what exactly is this inside? That's the banana and vanilla mousse inside. Oh, so that's the mousse. Okay, yes. I thought it was ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has a little, a little um, chocolate cake underneath. Oh. And it's the raspberry sauce. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm. Well, that's so good. The raspberry mixed with the chocolate mousse. Oh my gosh. It just melts in my mouth. It's really, really good. And then now I'm gonna try this one. Let's see how this is. Oh, it's a little messy, but. Mm. Wow. That's really good too. Both of them are really good desserts. Definitely recommend them guys, I had to return back the next day because I really want to meet Chef Richard Blyas off the restaurant for Four Flamingos, so we're gonna head over there right now. <laughs> Alright guys, I am here with Richard Blyas. He's the chef for Four Flamingos. It looks like it's about a storm. Yes, and I'm conjuring up a storm here at Four Flamingos in Orlando, Florida. You can see that the storm has flattened my hair. But we're cooking amazing dishes. You had the lobster yesterday. Oh yes, it was so good. I thought that was like one of my favorites. Amazing. Well listen, you gotta come say hi to us. Four Flamingos, Orlando, Florida. It's so cool to finally meet the chef because you know how I told you I I was actually here last night. I had to come back just to meet the chef because he left early last night when I was with my cousin and his girlfriend, Amanda. But now it made my day. I was like, yay! And he was nice enough to come in my vlog. So that was so awesome. But we're trying to, me and my friend Bob, we're gonna head over to the car right now because it's like about to like pour any second. But um, I just wanted to talk about last night's dinner. So the appetizers, the ribeye ponchos was really good. If you like steak, I definitely recommend getting it. And then my grilled lobster, it was really good. You can get it um, three different ways, but I preferred it grilled. And then my cousin's steak, he said it was pretty, it was good too. I didn't even get to like bite out of it because he ate it so fast. But if you are ever in this area, I definitely recommend stopping here really quick to go eat dinner or yeah, they only have dinner, no lunch, sorry. But let me know in the comments below, have you guys ever eaten at Four Flamingos at the Grand Cypress Hotel? Or are you planning to? If you enjoyed this dining review, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next adventure, bye.